Linko District in New Taipei has some very unusual new paving stones. An anonymous artist has painted famous cartoon artist characters on fragments of broken paving stones. Like Mickey Mouse, The Lion King and Winnie the Pooh all feature in the street art. But while residents would like to meet the mystery artist, officials say the stones are infringing the law. Glance down at the ground and these fabulous paving stones jump out at you. Disney favorites Mickey and Minnie kiss on a pink background. This cute character is Winnie the Pooh. Lots of pedestrians are slowing down to admire the street art, and some families even come out specially to search for the stones. It's like hunting for hidden treasure. Kids are jumping for joy when they find a new one. Yeah, I think very special, and I, I hope we can see more in the next couple of days. Some folks say they try not to step on the artworks. This international visitor was impressed by them too. There are six so far, all in New Taipei's Linko district. Each one is dated and signed Mr. Perry, leaving all Linko captivated by the question, who is Mr. Perry? These unremarkable paving stones have been painted bright and beautiful. Let's put this one back and walk on a few more steps. 200 meters on, we see another colorful stone at our feet. There are three on this road. Everyone is curious about the identity of Mr. Perry. There was a young foreigner with bright blonde hair crouching down. I didn't know what he was doing. I thought perhaps he was ill. This local resident thinks she was spotted Mr. Perry at work, but nobody knows his real name. Earlier this year, celebrated director Ke Yi Jin painted a dog on the pedestrian lane markings near his home. It was a gentle protest against a park being closed to pedestrians by a borough chief. But until Mr. Perry is identified, his motives remain a mystery. Painted stones may be more slippery, and they were originally broken stones too, and there are uneven places in the height of the surfaces. So with that in mind, we have some safety concerns and we will have to deal with that. The stones have delighted visitors and locals, but officials say laws on cleaning and disposing of waste have been violated. If Mr. Perry comes forward, he might face a fine from the Department of Environmental Protection from 1,200 to 6,000 NT.